what is going on it's your girl chloe as me back in the cut with another video and in today's video your girl is going to be doing a vlog so i literally just got out of school and before i hop into doing like my daily activities like going out getting what i gotta get i'm about to go ahead and do a deep conditioner i've been seeing like a lot of people talking about how like it's very important like the importance of doing a deep conditioner weekly so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do but i'm not going to do like the regular deep conditioner like where you buy it from the store and then you do it i'm gonna make my own deep conditioner because i know me making it by myself is gonna be way better so i seen her girl do it on tiktok and i'm gonna go ahead and not use the same exact things as her but like replace certain oils the only thing that's gonna be the same is like shea butter so i'm gonna go ahead and make my own deep conditioner and i'm gonna go ahead and like part my hair in four do my clips or whatever and do my deep conditioner and then i gotta get in the shower get ready to head out the door so i'm gonna be doing like an oil treatment one week a deep conditioner the next oil treatment one week a deep conditioner the next and we're just gonna work it like that and my hair is just gonna be continuing to thrive it's really frizzy and like crazy right now because this is fifth day here but it's looking good it's not flat it's looking amazing i like volume so we're gonna get it like a little bit more thick with all the stuff we're gonna be doing and we're just gonna be thriving you know getting ready for summer 2021 because we're trying to look good in the summertime you know okay so here we are with everything that i'm gonna be needing i have some shea butter some castor oil olive oil and then a conditioner a lot of people do not like this conditioner but i personally love aussie mad slip it's just good for my hair i personally like it this is what you're gonna need like some oil shea butter and then a conditioner i'm gonna go ahead and use all of this shea butter so i can go ahead and have like a lot of deep conditioner to at least last me for like two or three weeks i mean we'll see how much product like i need to like coat all of my hair but anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and use it all because why not now i'm gonna go ahead and add my castor oil i'm gonna go ahead and add a good amount because i do want the deep conditioner not to be like too too thick like i do want the oils to kind of like make it more smooth and like buttery to where i can really coat my hair because you know shea butter is like really sticky and thick now i'm gonna go in with my olive oil i get my oils off of amazon after i get done mixing up the oils and the shea butter then i'm gonna go ahead and add the conditioner that's the last step Now that it's all whipped together, I'm gonna go ahead and add my conditioner into here. It's not like too much, so I'm definitely gonna have to like go and buy like a lot more shea butter, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this conditioner in there to make it like the regular kind of deep conditioners, but like more moisturizing. Okay, so I went ahead and sped up the clip. You guys seen that I added more olive oil, more castor oil, and more conditioner so that it can be like more buttery so I can evenly distribute it. What? Evenly distribute it all over my hair. Do not mind my nails. Two of them, actually three of them are gone, but I kind of want all of them to come off so I can just go ahead and like paint my nails. It is like a little bit more damaging when you pop them off. I might get impatient and do it anyway, but anyway. I have this meal prep container. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it all into there and put the cap on so this can last me a little bit a little longer. Very buttery smooth, it's very creamy, which is, this is exactly what I wanted. It did take a lot of oil, but honestly, I'm okay with investing into my hair. I know that oils are really expensive, but I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with investing into, like I just said, my hair, my healthy hair care journey or whatever. When I started doing my own hair at like 11, I honestly was not using products that were good for my hair. I was using more products that were aimed toward Caucasian girls but now i'm using products that are good for my hair okay now it is time to go ahead and start doing this deep conditioner and i'm gonna go ahead and like part my hair into four and then like clip each piece up so it's not gonna be really easy to get on my scalp so i'm just gonna go ahead and use my homemade oil that i made in one of my recent vlogs i'm gonna go ahead and put that on my scalp and then that on my hair like the actual length of my hair now my hair is actually pretty tangled right now so i'm hoping that this will go ahead and help it detangle now i know a lot of people put water on their hair before they put in a conditioner but those i mean deep conditioner but those deep conditioners that they use are like creamy like cream based where they buy it in a store this is like shea butter and actual oils and that's not going to mix well with water so i am just going to go ahead and apply it straight to the hair without any water and then put the oil on my scalp and then we will see the results actually actually i have to upload my video on the day that i wash my hair so you guys will not see the results but i'm sure they will be beautiful results and i am really excited to go ahead and see like how my hair is going to look these clips are like lifesavers if you have 
curly hair and you do like treatments and stuff i got mine from marshall's for 4.99 and if i ever see more i'm gonna go ahead and pick up more just in case i lose them or anything um but let's go ahead and start applying this to my hair it is literally the perfect consistency i am so excited it is so creamy and like so moisturizing i can feel like all the oils in it this is popping i am so excited to see the results i feel like this is gonna be way better than an oil treatment because like the shea butter and everything in it shea butter is so good for the hair especially if you have curly hair girl do this actually i can't say that yet because i don't know the results but i already know it's gonna be popping like i am super excited and then i'm pretty sure it's gonna help with like split ends and stuff and like get your hair healthy you know this hair care journey is about to be lit i mean it's already lit i mean i am seeing immediate results this stuff is so thick and you just want to make sure that you get it on like all of your hair strands oh my gosh this feels amazing to the hair i am so excited i'm gonna go ahead and like detangle my hair while doing it as well but i'm gonna go ahead and speed up the clip and let you guys see me do my little deep conditioning you guys so now i'm gonna go ahead and put a trash bag on my hair and i showed you guys on my recent vlog how i do it i just basically tie it back with a scrunchie to keep it in place and it literally works like a charm it works amazing it just stays there and it traps heat so that it can penetrate better now i'm gonna go ahead and put this bonnet over my hair and we're gonna leave that in for two days and i'm gonna go ahead and wash it out but for the rest of the vlog you'll basically just see me in like a bonnet i want to go to bath and body works and pick up the lotion that i didn't buy if you guys watch my get ready with me you already know what i'm talking about um and then i want to go ahead and try out like this new hibiscus thing that they have there like it smells amazing and i smelled it there and since they're coming out with like new scents that smell stronger i want to go ahead and get that but anyway i got some stuff to do i'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys with me and then we're gonna come home do like a little bit more self-care maybe like some skincare and stuff like put a mask on or something but i'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys in a minute somewhere i don't even know where i'm gonna see you guys next but take care of your hair babe because we gotta make sure that our hair is popping this summer okay okay you guys so your girl is headed to the mall right now i got my mom in the car with me i feel like you're kind of camera shy maybe 
I feel like some days you're not and some days you are. That's true. Yeah, it's crazy because a lot of people don't even know that this is my mom. Like, even like growing up, like it's crazy because I remember I went to this one school and I was there for like two weeks and my mom came in and she was walking me to class and they were like, like, is that your mom? Like, they were so confused, like, who is she? And I was like, that's my mom. Oh. And they're like, what? Like, you're black? Like, what? I'm like, yes, I'm half black. Mm -hmm. And then I knew this girl for like three years straight and they were like, oh, there's Chloe's mom, blah, blah, blah. She was coming to pick me up from school. And she was like, how is that her mom if that lady's black? Like, that's not her mom. And all my friends just start roasting her, like, girl, you didn't know this whole entire time that this girl's mixed? Like, how did you not know? Like, are you even, like, a real friend? And I remember being so shocked, like, girl, I've known you for, like, three years, and I thought you already knew this. So this whole entire time, you were thinking that I was just all white. But, yeah, like, growing up, nobody ever really thought. The only people that knew were, like, mixed people. Like, I feel like they could just tell. Or, like, older black women. It's because she was so light. Oh, why is it not showing you? What the heck yeah, is happening? Yeah, it's because she was so light. And she had straight wavy hair. She didn't have any curls. Yeah, I didn't really have any curls. And her hair was really light blonde. Yeah, so, I mean, you couldn't really tell because I'm, I've am i always been super pale. Like, I have my dad's color. And um, I just didn't really have any curls. So, I mean, yep. if I seen a little girl, I mean, now, I, actually, I would know. If I seen, like, a black woman with a little girl that kind of looked like me, I would be like, oh, yeah, that's her kid. But, like, people probably thought I was adopted. Like, no. if you think, no, mom, think about it. If we were I just in the get store, offended. I just get offended. Why? Just the thought of somebody thinking that you're not my baby. It's like, what? Mom, if I wasn't like how I was, I would think, oh yeah, she adopted her kid. Like, look how beautiful that is. Oh. I'm being serious. If we were in the store and you had me in the grocery cart and we're, you know, I'm gonna be like, oh, that's yeah. definitely, she adopted her. Definitely don't like that. I don't get how we came out so white though. I don't get it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like Because... My girls look like their dad. And my the sister boys and I like me. are as white as my dad. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of my dad holding my sister. And she's when, whiter than him. No, they're the same color. No, it was one where she was whiter than him. Well, he, he tanned. He tanned tan yeah. because he was a sheet metal worker. So he was outside all day. But they were the same exact color. Yeah. That's weird. The girls look like their dad and the boys look like me. So yeah. the boys took more of my color and the girls took more. And that's just the way it is in my family. I mean, we're white, white. We're about to go ahead and head into the store and we'll talk to you guys there. Oh, you had to say something though? I don't want to cut you it's off. It's important to love yourself. Absolutely. It's important to love yourself for who you are. Not the things you wear, not the not the stuff that's on our faces. Sometimes we put makeup on, nothing wrong with that. But we have to genuinely love ourselves for who we are. Yeah, because the Lord don't make no mistakes. Like yeah. imagine how he's looking down like, you're yeah. judging my creation. Like I spent a lot of time on you. You need Amen. to know that you're beautiful. Uh, that's right. Okay, you guys, so I'm now in Bath and Body Works, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Hibiscus Paradise that I was telling you guys about. I'm really excited. They have the buy three, get two free. So I'm going to go ahead and buy three and get two free. They got the actual Wood Apart foam, too. So we're about to get down with the get down. Okay, so I'm now in Victoria's Secret and I'm kind of debating on if I should get this little pajama set. It's really cute and it's really yeah, it flowy. It feels really good. It feels really nice. I'm just debating on it because I don't really buy expensive pajamas, y'all. I be getting the stuff that's on sale or I just be using my regular clothes that I don't want to wear out anymore. If you know, you know. But it's really cute. Like, I like the color. I like how it looks. I like the lace. Y'all know I just be trying to be frugal with certain things and pajamas is one of them. Your downtime, you should feel good in your downtime. There is no downtime. Well, when you get downtime on Sunday when you shouldn't be doing nothing on Saturday. Yeah. I usually try not to do anything on Sundays. Yeah. Sundays is usually like my break day. Saturdays is kind of because it is a Sabbath, but I try to do stuff that's like not like working, working. Yeah. I'm gonna look at some of their underwear and see if I want to get some of their underwear as well, but we'll see. Because I literally almost have like every single one of the pairs that I like. And I don't see any new ones. Like I don't see any like new stuff that I don't already have. I like the hip huggers and then the bikini ones because they're really, really comfortable. And I prefer Victoria's Secret over pink because like I said, they're way comfortable. So I don't have this pair, which is, you know, cute. I don't have this pair either. So I'm actually finding some stuff that I don't have, surprisingly. Okay, I don't have this pair either okay wow well, always make sure that you check the actual size because sometimes they get mixed up and i don't think i have these gray ones so okay so i got my little five pair it's, it's five for 30 and then i'm gonna go ahead and just get this little pajama set and then i'm actually good but y'all know your, your girl loves victoria's secret i love their huda parfums too okay so when i get home i'm gonna go ahead and do like a haul of what i got at the mall but i wanted to go ahead and bring you guys around with me in walmart because you know we love walmart walmart is the best and i wanted to go ahead and pick up like a few different hair care stuff because you guys know i've been mixing like deep conditioners oil treatments and i have another thing that i want to go ahead and put in my hair like i want to mix some stuff together but i'm gonna do that on like my next video so i do kind of like the do grow hair oils they're really decent decent they're really good but like they're not as good as my homemade oil i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and go ahead and show you guys the stuff that i want to get i'm a beautiful mama okay hold on first things first though if you're a curly head and you're trying to like start off with like curly hair products a lot of can't like a lot of the can't stuff does not work for a lot of people because it has alcohols drying alcohols i did like the results but since they have so much alcohol in them it's not good for your actual curls but 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these two um, uh, do grow oils to go ahead and like make a mixture with soon and then also just go ahead and put it in my hair this all this stuff right here this my oil stuff is amazing get you some but I have a list so I need to go ahead and follow what I have on this list and let's keep on moving I gotta get like some Tupperware because I do want to make more hair mixtures like I just said just repeating myself at this point all right quick haul in Walmart while I'm checking out I got some Tupperware because I want to go ahead and make more hair products and stuff like homemade stuff so I got that when I make my mixtures I got these for my car I need to go ahead and put these in my car gotta have my car smelling right okay and then I really like these rain body fuels and um, they're actually really good put them on ice they're really good so I'm trying to introduce my mom to them because they're actually really nice and they have like vitamins and, like amino acids and electrolytes and stuff they reduce fatigue and like I don't know they're just really good I picked up some 100% pure avocado oil for my hair as well got some retinol serum because I've been loving that for my face the old school Lysol concentrate my mom and my grandma were just talking about that two do grow oils because you already know my favorite toothpaste junk is fire old spice came out with lotion so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brothers some of this lotion because you know they're into hygiene and everything too the best there but they're trying to figure out which one is the best it's the green one not the blue one not the pink one not the dark green one it's the light green one and then i got like a bunch of candles for the house because you know cold brew i put this inside of my coffee every single morning i like it it's actually pretty good straws because energy drinks on ice are fire with a straw okay sis so i just actually went ahead and bought some more of the shower organizers because i do want to put like more hair care products in here because i don't really have much space for like my hair care products so i've actually never used these but i definitely want to go ahead and try them out i just found them in my hygiene closet i have the conditioning shampoo by Luster's Pink, um, just like the pink lotion. And then I have the conditioner that goes with it as well. I have the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Shampoo and Conditioner that I'm just going to go ahead and put in there as well. And then I have the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla. Now, I love this stuff so much. It smells amazing and it really does work good for curly hair. Um, so I went ahead and found these in my hygiene closet as well. I actually use a good amount of both of them. And I actually have more space over here for like a hair mask or something like that, like some more stuff in here um, that I'll go ahead and like put stuff in there like when I get the chance to. So I'm just going to go ahead and take everything from over here, put it over here. This is mainly like my shaving section. So I mainly put like all my shaving stuff over here and then like some feminine hygiene products, but like mainly just shaving stuff. And then in here, I want to go ahead and put like my new Bath Mighty Works set in here and then maybe put like more Bath Mighty Works stuff as I buy more. Actually, these were supposed to go ahead and go in here as well with my hair care stuff. I forgot about that. That was the main reason why I even bought this whole show because I really wanted these pretty products to be in here. So, okay, we're working on it. Okay, we got the stuff. And then y'all already know that I went ahead and bought some stuff for Bath Mighty Works. I already showed you guys all the body care. I just bought two candles from there because they have like an $8 sale for today or whatever. So up here, you guys see how I have the body wash and then the body scrub. So I have the body wash, the hibiscus paradise, and then the body scrub as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that like that. And then when I go ahead and get more, I'll go ahead and do that right here. I don't have a warm vanilla sugar um, body scrub, but I do have like two different body washes. So I can go ahead and like put that like that and just have like the cute Bath Mighty Works stuff. I usually do not reach for stuff like this because my favorite is like regular body washes and plus Bath Mighty Works is pricey, but they look cute. And when I want to get like real strongly scented, I will go ahead and do my layering and stuff. It's definitely like a summer scent, but it is perfect. You guys, so I got the little Oda Parfum because we already know Oda Parfums are the best. And you're going to get the strongest scent once you do that. And then you guys already know that I picked up the body cream and then the body spray. The original hygiene junkie. When I tell y'all, this is so many dang products and then down here and then up there y'all already know i have to have a lot like a lot of different products to choose from Whew. it ain't nothing like having a fresh and clean body i'm gonna tell you that right now i'm about to do this neem face pack that monica sent me if you keep up with my videos you already know who monica is she is one of my subscribers that sends me so many different things from new zealand the oil from the deep conditioner is definitely like running down my neck a little bit and i don't want to like ruin clothes or anything like that so i have a tank top on but just in case i'm gonna keep this on because this is actually gonna like trap it trap it in more than an actual bonnet. I wanted to go ahead and like talk about um, this Hibiscus Paradise product for a second because I really like the scent. Truly I do, but I want to be honest in everything that I talk about and everything that I do because baby, we're not going to be lying to anybody. Anyway, so like I said, it smells very good, but I feel like it's literally a, I don't know the word, but I feel like they just re-came out with a product that they already had. Like I honestly feel like they already had a product that smelled just like that. And they just put a different name on it and marked up the price a little bit and called it like a new product. I also want to go ahead and say if I had to suggest between the You're the One that I showed you guys on my Get Ready With Me and this one, definitely You Are the One. This one does not smell expensive in any way, shape, or form. It's definitely not like woman-like at all. Um, it's definitely like summer 
high schoolish, middle schoolish. It's definitely not like anything expensive or special. It's honestly pretty basic. I smelled it in the store and it smelled really good, but I'm kind of having like a different opinion now because I just used it in the shower. I love the body scrub. The body scrub is popping. Like honestly, out of everything, I love the body scrub. Like it's a different kind of body scrub than any of the other like shimmery body scrubs. This one is like a creamy one, but it's very, it's way more abrasive than all the other ones and it actually made my skin like super soft. The other ones do, but this one was like totally different and it had like a different smell than like the actual body wash, lotion and body spray is definitely popping but would I suggest this fragrance if you're into like coconutty fruity scents yeah but if you want to smell more expensive and more sophisticated and expensive and like divine that's not it I'm gonna go ahead and start moisturizing but I really did like that body scrub it definitely made my legs super soft um so go ahead and prep for shaving and everything I definitely definitely enjoyed that it smells really good. Like I said, it does have like a little bit of like an after scent of like maybe like a medicine. It smells very good. Like I said, um, I definitely like it, um, but it's definitely not the best. Like it's definitely not the best you're going to get. If I had to suggest like one of their new signature, not signature, if I had to suggest one of their new fragrances that, that they just recently came out with, it would definitely be the You're the One because it is popping y'all. Like I am super, super obsessed with it. Dahlia in the stars into the night and you are the one that i have in my shower right now those are popping i love forever red forever red it's also one of those that i really suggest as well like forever red smells very expensive as well um there are a few that i really like from them um victoria's secret i'm not the biggest fan of their body sprays their body their body sprays for real do not last except for like amber romance amber romance does kind of my favorite body sprays from victoria's secret are amber romance aqua kiss and rush those are like the ones that are so good you guys i literally am obsessed with those like like, even though they don't last long I will always probably repurchase them because they are so beautiful like the scents are so amazing like I literally love them so I do have like certain fragrances that I will probably always repurchase from um Victoria's Secret and Bath Body Works but like for the most part I, I'm not the biggest fan of like this isn't strong like this was actually way stronger in the store when I smelled it you know what it was probably because she sprayed it with a perfume is it yeah it was it with a perfume probably do I regret buying it I guess kind of like it's not really all that the Dahlia perfume I have never tried the body spray but the perfume is amazing their perfume actually do last like their actual perfumes I do trust them they actually do work good and here's the hibiscus paradise the hibiscus paradise is it just it's not something that I would like reach for like it's definitely something that I would put on if I was going to the beach or if I wanted to put like a super like childish not childish but like if I wanted to put a fragrance on Ayla my niece right now I would put this on her because it's not like woman like and it's not like too old and like mature and like sexy and woman like you know what I mean I would not put that on her but this I definitely would the fragrance notes are pink hibiscus juicy guava and sun kissed coconut anyway I'm about to go ahead and show you guys what I got. Oh, my girl put it in a Chanel bag. I didn't buy anything Chanel, but my girl put it in a Chanel bag. I love my girl from Macy's. That is my girl. She was like, I'm about to put you on like my clientele list because you're always coming in here and like dropping a coin, you know. So I got the Hip Tonic Poison Dior perfume. I'm about to go ahead and open it up for you guys. It smells amazing. Then for free, she was like, since you're like one of my loyal clients, she gave me this Dior backstage. It has a mirror and everything. Dior Backstage Base Mascara and Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. Super cute. She's so amazing. Please do not mind my nails. I gotta get them done. Not get them done. I'm about to go ahead and do them. She gave me a free little black opium lotion. And then she gave me some Dior Capture Youth HLA Advanced Eye Treatment. She's so cute. I love her. But this Dior Hip Tonic Poison. Girl, this is fire. This Hip Tonic Poison has the most beautiful like vanilla type of smell. It is not the average vanilla type of smell it's super cute it's like a apple oh my gosh i love this fragrance add it to my collection right now because yes ma'am my skin's feeling real soft from that scrub and then my favorite tree hut moisturizing shape oils and i do like their body creams their body creams are, i feel like they're starting to get more moisturizing like their lotions are like mm, body creams are starting to get a little bit more moisturizing i smell amazing i just it's not like my type of scent like it's not like my kind of scent that i would definitely keep purchasing and keep reaching for you know When I tell y'all what really motivates me to get up in the morning time for school because baby I'm tired 
is coffee because girl i don't have time for this junk in my first class it's honestly kind of getting on my nerves but it's okay okay we have another nail it popped off so we're working on it and my nails are growing underneath them which is good so i have one two three four six nails more to pop off and then i'm gonna go ahead and like paint them or whatever loving the headband i didn't i didn't tell y'all listen you gotta get the spa headbands off of amazon girl get you right i just figured out a whole hack the oil was like leaking down my leaking on my neck or whatever no ma'am i went ahead and put on a spa headband and I didn't even like realize that it was gonna help with that. I was trying to just help with like the pain of this. This is hard plastic, but it was hurting my head. So I had to go ahead and put a spy headband on. And when I tell y'all, this is not hurting me no more. Like I have like the little spy headband. It has like a little Velcro right here. Amazing. Anyway, I don't really like the lighting, but anyway. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and like brush my teeth. And I do skincare in like an hour or whatever when I get my break. Or, like an hour, two hours probably. Yeah, two or three hours. Sip on this coffee and let me get to focusing in class because baby, like I said a million times, we are not here to lose. We're here to win. So think about it that way. We got to hop up in school. I be telling myself like, girl, you are a G. I be so tired. I be so tired. And I have to hop up and get straight into class. But it is what it is. You know, we're here to win. We're not here to lose. And it's called a grind. So I'm about to go ahead and get my little bed set up for school. Class starts in 11 minutes. I I usually get in there like five minutes early i need to go ahead and work on this assignment that i have due friday um it's like text questions or whatever um in my law and order class so i gotta go ahead and finish that i'm pretty sure he can like give us at least 10 minutes of class to try to get some of the work done because i like when teachers give us some time in class to finish some of the assignment that they have assigned because it makes it like a little bit easier oh my gosh this dude is always doing practice testing just give us a real test and call it a day i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm okay with the practice testing so usually our classes are in like blackboard collaborate and now they're starting to do it in like um like a new little system or whatever so it's kind of like zoom this dude got this loud timer on nobody wants to hear that shut the heck up i don't want to hear that yesterday he had on this loud timer and it was a dog and i'm literally trying to do my schoolwork, trying to get some assignments done before like class starts and this dog starts barking and i'm like bro that's too loud what are you doing i'll talk to y'all in a minute because this dude always be frustrating me i look a little crazy yes I already know. I can barely even hear when I have this headband on though. It is really annoying. So we have one more day to go and I'm gonna go ahead and wash it tomorrow. The deep conditioner is way more annoying than the oil treatment. So the oil treatments are really easy. No, like no oil really comes out. Like it's really simple, but the deep conditioner, um, <laughs> anyway, daily reminders to go ahead and take your probiotic or whatever you take. Y'all already know I take my little Azo Daily Complete Feminine Balance Daily Probiotic. I take the Cranberry Urinary Tract Health Pills. Get them off of Amazon because if you get the ones that are in the box, they taste disgusting. Like they instantly have a taste when you're going to swallow them. And then I take my Triple Chlorophyll. Um, all of these are off of Amazon. Like I just order my stuff because it's really simple. I'm about to go ahead and drink my water, get my probiotics in. And then we're just going to keep going with the day. I did my skincare on my break. And I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys later. Just wanted to go ahead and give y'all a reminder just in case you forgot. Because you got to get on a schedule where you're taking them consistently or they're not going to work. Listen, baby. If you ain't washing your underwear before you wear them, girl, what are you doing? And I'm saying that in the most loving way possible because, baby, my whole entire life, I would just buy underwear and put them straight on. Didn't even wash them. Didn't even care. I don't give a crap if you have to hand wash them because we didn't have much access to like a washer like we was pretty poor so when our washer broke down we had to keep going to the laundry mat but we could only go like once a month and like here and there so i was hand washing my dang underwear but when i first bought them i wouldn't like i just didn't really wash them i just put them right back on i mean i just put them right on that was a huge mistake because i was setting myself up for an infection or something like this is not good they go through the factory people's hands have been on them you don't never know so i'm about to go ahead and wash my underwear but i need like a bigger load and my pillowcases need to be washed i'm about to go ahead and wash them with my pillowcases perfect because i only use like drip like the baby detergent in my pillowcases and in my underwear because both things i have acne and then i don't want any like fragrance like that oh my good lord i don't want any fragrance like on my underwear or anything so i just use like a baby detergent no fabric softener make sure you're keeping up with washing your pillowcases especially if you have acne i have acne i don't sleep on the same side of a pillowcase more than once all right y'all so i'm about to go ahead and throw everything in the washer but i just go ahead and use the drift stage one newborn detergent i'm gonna go ahead and put a full cup of that in here don't need much don't need much then a little bit of clorox laundry sanitizer and that's gonna be it i'm gonna go ahead and wash it on hot for like disinfecting purposes and everything put it on delicate and then call it a day put it in the dryer and then we're done delicate hot auto sensing y'all i'm sitting here doing my nails look how cute this color is like it looks super cute with my ring and everything 
it's not really giving it justice like the camera but this is like the color that i got on one of my target vlogs it's super cute so i'm just sitting here doing them i gotta go ahead and do the other hand but loving this had to do my nails because they was looking really raggedy literally love this color i love painted nails i don't know what it is like they're just so much more simple you can do everything with them they look like really cute and like you know simple basic but really like cute and i just love it i don't know i just love it all right you guys so i'm actually about to go ahead and start cleaning out my brushes so obviously they have hair all in them so i need to go ahead and like get all the hair out if you guys do not know how to get hair out of your brushes just get a comb and go ahead and get all of the hair out but i want to go ahead and wash them i never actually wash my brushes but i've been seeing people talk about it on tiktok so tiktok be putting this on so you know life hacks or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and try to get all of the hair out of my brushes as, as much as i can possibly get out and then I'll just go ahead and wash them up. I'm just going to use like a cheap VO5 shampoo. Where did I put it? Okay, I put it on my bed, but I'm just going to go ahead and like speed up the clip of me getting all this hair out of my brushes. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some hot water in here and then um, start washing them up. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and let them soak for like a half hour with the super hot water. And then we'll go ahead and start cleaning them up. This is disgusting. Do you guys see all those little white clumps from all of the product buildup? Ew, what the junk is going on? I'm gonna use the cheap stuff. This stuff smells so for good, you guys. But it's good because it's cheap and I can just go ahead and like put it in there. Oh, that water is hot. Let me go ahead and plug it without the water being in there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some shampoo in there. I'm gonna put a good amount. And I'm gonna let those brushes go ahead and soak. Oh, it's hot, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and just stir it with the brush. I ain't got time, I ain't got time. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop all of my combs, brushes, my little edge toothbrush or whatever. I'm going to let them go ahead and all sit in there. The ones that I didn't get the hair out of are brand new or just have not had, they don't really have any hair in them. I'm going to add a little bit more shampoo just to make sure, baby. Feeling good. We're getting things clean. I just got done putting my pillowcases and my underwear inside the dryer. And then I went ahead and got my comforter inside the washer. Um, let me tell y'all, or I always tell y'all this, you can go ahead and get like a laundry sanitizer or pine saw. Pine saw works really good for like your bathroom rugs, your comforter comforter it disinfects it's popping it'll make your stuff smell super fresh so i went ahead and got that in the washer now i am seeing that this water this water is definitely dirty like it is definitely looking really dirty and like muggy um so we're definitely doing what we gotta do they've definitely been sitting there for like 35 minutes so i think that's good enough i'm about to go ahead and like wash all of them with like some shampoo so what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put shampoo on the brush like I would do with toothpaste. And then grab a comb and like go like this all throughout the brush. It's going to like get soap everywhere. But it's like, I feel like that's the way I want to do it. Because it is going to get soapy and it's actually going to clean it. Or I guess I can do it with my hands. I guess that wouldn't hurt. But I got to clean them some type of way that I am knowing that they're actually clean. Like I feel like soaking them is just not enough. I feel like I want to clean them, clean them. So I'm going to put like, like I just said, shampoo on the actual brush and then clean it with my hands. Um, a comb would have been good, but it's just like soap is getting everywhere. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Dip it, maybe wash it one more time to make sure that they are thoroughly clean. And you can use a lot of shampoo, like if you get like VO5, because it's literally like 90 cents at Walmart. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I got to go ahead and wash my bonnets. Look, this is getting soap everywhere. I'm not really feeling this. I can clean them under the water. I guess that'll help as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and let them sit out and dry. ever seen a cop speeding so fast that it's like wait a minute whoa what's going on i've been seeing cops left and right speeding so dang fast i was on a highway one time going to pick my brother up and it was like late at night and the dude was going like 95 like um uh, no but i'm being for real. i was like wait a minute that's really dangerous because whoo and then i just got off this one road and it's 45 the guy was definitely going like 65 but they could be heading somewhere but don't they have to put like their sirens on or like their lights when they're going somewhere or like is that only for like emergencies i don't know maybe i'm just talking and i shouldn't be saying anything maybe i shouldn't be talking on this subject anyway so i'm about to go ahead and head to starbucks they got this new espresso out it's called brown sugar speaking of cops speaking of cops the po po they got this new brown sugar oatmeal shaken espresso that they just came out with 
I was listening to my gospel earlier and a little ad came on and I'm like, okay, I'm about to go ahead and try that. So I'm about to go ahead and go to Starbucks. Then since this deep conditioner has so much oil in it and like you're gonna need like a, a shampoo that's gonna get all of it out. I'm gonna go ahead and try out this new melanin, not new, it's actually been out for a minute. I'm about to go ahead and try out this melanin African black soap shampoo because I know that it's gonna get all of the deep conditioner out. Now when I do my oil treatments, I can use like a regular shampoo, but this is like a lot, like it's really thick because it has shea butter. And I just wanna make sure that I get it all out so that my hair is not really flat from the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that shampoo. Don't really like this Ulta because the girls are really snooty, but don't you hate when you go into like a certain store that you really like, but then like the employees are really snooty? And I'm like, girl, you act like this is your store. Like you act like you're mad that customers are coming in. Anyway, I'm gonna go there, grab that, and then I honestly wanna go to Target, but I don't really know. But I know that I have to get more deodorant and I have to get coffee creamer. Just know that if you put the Lord Jesus Christ first, you're gonna be all right. Like when I tell y'all, like success is going to come, flourishing, abundant blessings. You are gonna be just fine. The Lord Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. Look at you trying to race me to Starbucks. You're not cute. I can't stand when people do that. But anyway, the Lord is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Oh my gosh, are they getting a car crash? Oh my gosh, no. They hit that, oh my gosh. Wow, Lord Jesus, please intervene into that situation. Let your will be done in that situation. Lord Jesus, let it all work out, but intervene and be there with them. In the mighty powerful name of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. When I, they're arguing. Oh my gosh, she cussing her out. He's cussing her out. Oh, oh my gosh. That was almost another crash. Yo, people are crazy. Oh. First of all, he's being rude. Like, why would you even talk to her like that? You're like being nasty. You're trying to construct, like what? Anyway, let me stop because I'm not even gonna get involved. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Let me tell y'all, you're his kid. Like you are the creator of the universe, the creator of the world, the creator of gold, diamonds, all of that. You're his kid. So you think that he's not going to make sure that you're straight? baby the bible tells us not to be upset when he disciplines us because it is showing his love because he wants us to learn and he wants us to keep going it's like he disciplines us but he loves us at the same exact time so it doesn't feel like he hates me you know it's like he just taught me something new everything will work out for your good if you put the lord jesus christ first um i'm telling you like i'm telling you for real like oh my gosh and he will start to show you like baby i'm here i'm here for you and i'm not gonna leave you i'm here okay the police just showed up okay it's getting really real i guess two young guys rear-ended somebody else and they rear-ended somebody else and like they rear it's bad yeah it's pretty bad anyway girl do not worry this is not your battle the battle is the lord's you gotta step back and have faith in the lord and be like hey i know you're gonna take care of it he's got you He's got you. And I've been seeing stuff like the God is a woman thing. Um, That's not even like, like it's, it's not even a question because in the Bible it says father. I guess like I get offended when you try to display something that's not true to the public and you're speaking about my father. I honestly, like I try to be as loving as possible, but it does get annoying. And it's like, why? Like, because I know the devil is really at work in these days. These days you see all the celebrities, they're all, all they talk about is lust, twerking, sex, like all of that, like all of it is disgusting. And it's like, Honestly, I don't really think these artists, these new artists nowadays, you don't have any talent because all you talk about is inappropriate things. That's it. It's like you just, you're focused on one topic. One topic. That's all you can talk about. That's not talent to me. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not hating on them. But like, from a Christian point of view, it's very, it's very deceiving to people. And it can really lead a lot of people to hell. Let me tell you something. You're going to be responsible for those souls that you led to hell. Have y'all heard about that one guy? Okay, YK Cyrus. Okay, he said this thing like, okay, y'all, us in the music industry, he said, y'all be so quick to be like, God bless me. God did this. God did that he said this ain't got nothing to do with god he said we all know this is the devil he said we all know this industry is all the devil god is not happy with us he's not proud with us with us doing this and we know that but the money's good basically he says something like that and so it's like they can deceive you and they want to sit up here and talk about god all the time but it's like for me the lord does say come as you are like i hate when people be like okay you came to the church dressed like that baby he said come as you are but this is a total different thing this is totally separate like i get the money's good but your life here on earth is only for so long is it really worth it to have eternal life burning on fire being tortured try to wrap your mind around something never ending and there's nobody to call on god's not there there's nobody to call on and be like lord can you please help me like no you are going to burn eternally and it's actually something serious because you guys know i'm all about loving and i try to get the word out in the most loving way possible but sometimes i have to just like break it down and be like hey sis this is what's going on i want to see you in heaven because i love you and i'm so tired of people not saying the truth because i wish somebody would have showed up like somebody that i 
I really look up to growing up besides my mom would have been like hey sis this is what's up you know what I'm saying but I hope that I'm making sense and it's something that you honestly should not play about but the devil really wants to make you guys scared and when you're scared of something you kind of back away from it don't be scared about judgment day use it as a sign to build your relationship with Christ because it's nothing to be scared about it's actually something to be very happy about because now you get to start a whole new life with Christ your father someone that truly loves you and it's not an if and or but he actually does love you and you'll be able to have eternal life with Christ I mean I'm talking mansions love colors you ain't never seen roads of gold I'm talking life you have never even you can't even wrap your mind around you know we think about success here on earth but real success is the Lord telling you good job my faithful servant you did a great job I'm so proud of you come on up I don't want to be that person that knows the truth and I hide it from you because I would rather face a lot of hate and be helping the Lord Jesus Christ pull souls in than getting a lot of love and deceiving people and not letting them know what's about to happen everything that the Lord said was going to happen before his coming is happening and it is time it's time and I love you that's why I'm telling you this okay if I'm wrong I wasted my life here on earth but if you're wrong you threw away eternal life think about it that way there is no losing in this game I shouldn't say game there is no losing in this walk with Christ. Shouldn't say game because it's not a game. Now, baby, when it comes down to Bible study, I know a lot of you guys have a hard time with this. When I tell you, get the living translation. The living translation is going to be so much easier to read and understand. There's not all of those difficult words that a lot of us nowadays cannot really understand. That was how they spoke back in the day. So it was easy for them to understand. This is not how we talk now. So it's really easy to understand the living translation. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Can I get the um, brown sugar oatmeal shaken espresso? Anything else I have for you there? That's going to be it. Thank you. And then start in the New Testament. Start in the New Testament. Start in the New Testament. If you're first starting Bible study, the best thing for you to do is start in the New Testament. If you start in the Old Testament, it's going to be a little bit harder. The New Testament applies to us. Do not get me wrong. It is beautiful to read the Old Testament once you get done with the First Testament. I mean, with the New Testament because you get to learn more about the history of, you know, what, what happened and everything. But start in the New Testament. The New Testament applies to us in Living Translation, New Testament get it popping start at Matthew and go on from there the best thing I can suggest when, when it comes down to Bible study get you a highlighter get you a nice little pen and paper write down the scriptures that you really like make it fun for yourself go invest in some nice stuff to make it cute and fun and nice you know do that for yourself because it's really worth it okay so now I am headed to Ulta I'm about to go ahead and try this drink I would have asked for a straw but it was just like such a quick transaction I just was like screw it I don't really care it's like I really like sweet drinks and this is like not really street sweet it's like bland I really do like the brown sugar taste to it but it's if it was more sweet it would be so perfect it's yummy love the brown sugar and I'm not really like a brown sugar kind of person but I just wish it was more sweet um it's nothing special like it's nothing crazy the espresso frappuccino is though the espresso frappuccino is popping but since this has espresso in it I am excited about it because espresso will really get me going it'll really get me give me some energy so I do like that aspect of it if you are a new driver and you're going to switch lanes at any time do not look in your rear view mirror do not look at those mirrors please do not look behind you and look at that back back window to see if anybody is near you because those rear view mirrors are not going to help you you can look in them and not see anybody and then you can go to switch lanes and almost hit somebody's car because they're there you got to look behind you and see if there's anybody behind you when i first started driving i had kind of forgot because i was on the highway one time there was this truck i didn't look back i looked at my rear rear view mirror and almost hit the dang car and from then on, I was like, I will never again. My teacher was so right. I gotta look back. Even though she was a pervert and she tried to mess with me and she was like, gross, talking about something I could be your sugar mama. She was holding my hand while I was driving. I had to put her in line. She was like mad because I didn't want nothing to do with her. So she would like make little comments about, oh my, per yeah, your perfume's too strong. Uh -huh. And the people in the back was like, girl, I promise you she was tripping. Like, I don't even know what she was talking about. You just smell good, it's nothing strong. You're trying to get me to the hospital. She was disgusting, she was gross, she was a pervert and she was nasty. But she did teach me some things that I am using very well I literally would cry before I had to go in because like I didn't want to be like too disrespectful because I knew that if I snapped on this lady I'm a for real climb on you like a spider monkey you are nothing special but she was 72 years old okay she was going too far she was disgusting and I literally see you after I get out of Ulta because baby that driver's teacher got me is getting me like she's getting me heated just think just thinking about this lady is getting me heated like you want to lick my ice cream cone no 
No, no ma'am. All right, sis, so before I go ahead and end up this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the shampoo I was telling you guys about. It is the Melanin African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. Really excited to go ahead and try this out tomorrow. Got that from Ulta. I also went ahead and picked this up because it was on sale. It's called the Good Stuff Curl Hydration Butter for good curly and coily hair. No rinse conditioner. Wanna go ahead and try that out because it was literally only $4.50 on sale. Then last but not least, I went ahead and picked up this non-aluminum Pacifica Coconut Cream clean deodorant because y'all know your girl does not like to use aluminum deodorants i did stop at target and got, buy some coffee and creamer but those are already in the refrigerator i picked up dropped it i picked up another non-aluminum deodorant mega babe has non-aluminum deodorant and it's like the sunny pits kind but it has like a lemon i guess and citrus scent and then last but not least y'all know i love my downy intense but they have a new one this smells popping too and i love downy intense because it makes your laundry smell super fire like you will smell amazing without any perfume or anything so that is everything that i went ahead and picked up but i wanted to go ahead and end up this video because i'm currently gonna start editing this video and drink a little bit more coffee because i gotta be up tonight Anyway, I love you, sis. God bless you in Jesus' name. And it's time for you to go ahead and hit up on a hill.